Okay, we're going to talk about how to create a Gmail account next. Um, I don't think that I would use whatever my current everyday email account is with this. There, there's no reason, I mean, there, it's not like there's some reason not to, it's not like you're doing anything crazy that's going to get your account, you know, uh, deleted by Google that we know of. Um, I mean, we, 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 have, we have not run into that problem and I personally do all kinds of crazy stuff online and I've had a few accounts deleted by Google because I was pushing the envelope too much so I pretty well know where the boundaries are and you are nowhere near them but still I think you want to keep the Gmail account that you use for this plugin separate from everything else otherwise it's just gonna make make it way too hard for you to use this. So I would set up a Gmail account just for this plugin. I'm going to show you how to do that because it's really simple to do. Go to gmail.com and make sure that you are not logged in. Okay? Uh, and if you have an issue, like if you are someone like me, who has a lot of email accounts and a lot of Gmail accounts, you might want to clear the cookies uh, and the cache from your computer before you do this. If you're a newbie, and let, let me define that, not somebody who routinely buys Gmail accounts and does all kinds of stuff with them, not somebody who logs on for bunches of different clients from the same computer all day long as I do. Um, but let's, let, let's, let, let's say the only thing you do is basically you log into your own email and check that. You're probably okay with that. Uh, um, I, I would say 99.9999999% okay without clearing the cache and the cookies. But you might want to clear the cache and the cookies. I, I think I would probably do that. I'm currently on Firefox. The way you do that on Firefox is you, you do that. That's related to the browser. The way you do that on Firefox, you click Tools, say Clear Recent History, and I just, Cookies and Cache, cleared that. Okay, so now we're good to go. Don't have any cookies on here that, that Google put on here that alerts them to the fact that, oh my God, you just, uh, um, you know, you were just on one account, now you're on another. And I'm, I'm not trying to raise alarms or anything like that. I'm just trying to make sure you t stay totally kosher and totally white hat. But anyway, once you've done that, you want to create an account. The way you're going to do this, you're going to go to gmail.com, click create an account. You're going to put name. Now, now this is a profile. Okay, it's, a, it's like an avatar. It could be your name. It could be somebody else's name. I don't really care. Um, but you put that in here. You choose your username. So my name's Lee Cole. So you could put Lee Cole in here. Uh, Lee Cole, one two three four five six seven at gmail.com. Create your password, your birthday, your gender. You got to have either a mobile phone or an email address. Um, just because I have lots of accounts, I generally skip the mobile phone thing. It seems to me like I can pretty much create four or five accounts for a given mobile phone number or for a given email address. I. Um, have a Yahoo, throw a Yahoo address that I, that I put in here. Okay, so you, like if you have another email address, your, your real everyday email address, put that in there. Uh, if you skip this, then phone, they're probably going to need the mobile phone number and call you. Put that in there. Click Agree. Below here it says Next Step, and you'll do that. You'll click Next Step, at which point you'll be able to actually fill in your profile. Okay, so that's how you create a Gmail account. It is that simple.